We will first create an extension rack on the main drop. Click the white box. A dialog box appears where we will select the extension rack size. Close the dialog box, then read and acknowledge the pop-up message. Additional rack extensions can be added by selecting the white box that is displayed below the newly added rack. Next we will add a remote I.O. drop. To do this, double-click on E.I.O. bus in the project browser. In the new window, double-click the white box to add a new remote I.O. drop. In the dialog box select the rack size and see RA module to be used. Additional remote I.O. drops can be added by selecting the white box below the newly created rack. Rack extensions can be added to remote I.O. drops by double-clicking the arrows that are next to the remote I.O. rack. Select the rack size in the dialog box. Close the dialog box, then read and acknowledge the pop-up message. When deploying architecture, in the remote I.O. racks there will be CRA module. The rotary switch on the module needs to be set to the correct position before powering on.